you inside Beasley Coliseum in Poland, Washington, as the Washington State University Cougars return to action and look to stay undefeated at home. Steve Grubbs heading your way from Beasley Coliseum as the Cougars get set to wrap up non-conference action, and they'll do so in part this afternoon against Jackson State. The Washington State University Cougars were over in Seattle opening up Pac-12 play against their arch rivals, the Huskies, and for Charlize Ledger-Walker, she would turn in a performance for the ages as she would score 40 points for the Washington State University Cougars and almost single-handedly kept the Cougars in the game, but the Huskies themselves had a well-balanced effort with all five of their starters getting to double digits, and yet Charlize Ledger-Walker continued to pour in point and shot after shot to keep the Cougars within striking range deep into the contest but ultimately the Huskies did come away with the victory and the Cougars suffered just their second loss of the season. Meanwhile for Washington State, well, have we mentioned Shirley Sledger Walker, 40 points, just the second Cougar all time to get 40 or more in a game and only one off of the all time record of Jenny Ruff. They welcome in Jackson State today and it's a couple of players in Liz Martino and Tiana Bowler. They help lead the way for the Jackson State Tigers. They'll try and get things rolling against the Cougars who come in seven and two Tip-off is next from Beasley Coliseum. Happy holidays to you all. Of course, next weekend will be Christmas weekend. Hanukkah getting started this weekend as well. So again, wherever you may be, we hope that you are enjoying the holiday season and we hope that you enjoy this basketball game here today as the Cougars and Jackson State getting set to go. And Penny Robinson will be our referee here for this afternoon's contest. She gets ready to throw it up and will be Bella Maricatete jumping it up against Angel Jackson and Fenny Robinson, Rochelle Burnett and Demoya Pugh year starters. Meanwhile we had an infraction on the jump ball and they're going to give it to Jackson State. So Jackson State will have the start of the basketball game as they'll get the first possession. That means that the Cougars should get the arrow next. They haven't put the arrow up but now they do as the Jackson State Tigers inbound the basketball. We're now officially underway after the misguided attempt on the tip. And now it'll be Jackson State with it as the Cougars on the defensive side. Angel Jackson from about 18. That's off the back of the rim. And Bella Maricatete there to pull down the rebound for Washington State. And we get things rolling here on the Cougar offensive end. Charlize Ledger-Walker gets a screen from Bella. Drives it down the right side of the lane. Kicks out. Over it goes. Johanna Tadar on the way for a three. It's an air ball. But down with the rebound. Charlize Ledger-Walker. Cougars will recycle. 12 left on the shot clock. Wallach has it out high on the right. Passes over to Yo. Yo fakes to the right. Goes to the left. They're down to five left to shoot. Ula Motuga corner three off the iron. No good. Battle for the rebound. It's out of bounds. And it will be... Washington State ball is at last touch Jackson State. I think Luckett might have got a finger on it before it went out of bounds. So the Cougars will inbound on the baseline. They'll reset the shot clock to 20 as it comes into Wallach. Now over it goes to Tadar. She's got it out high on the right for Washington State. Gives it back to Charlize Ledger Walker with 10 left on the shot clock. Now to Ulamo Tug at the high post, down to six left to shoot. Charlize gonna have to create with four. Takes it to the free throw line, tries to bounce it to Bella. She's got it, will put up a shot as the shot clock expires and will get it to go. Well, they used every drip of that shot clock, but Bella gets the opening two points. Meanwhile, quickly the other way comes Jackson State. All the way to the rim goes Covington, but she can't convert. Rebound down to the Cougars, and now in transition, the kick out for three, got it! Yo with the first triple of the day for Washington State, and it's 5 nothing in favor of the Cougars a minute and a half in. Now Jackson State moving it right to left as we see things here from a radio location. Comes to the high post in Jackson. Her shot from 18's off the mark, no good. Bella between a couple of Tigers gets the rebound, and they're going to whistle a foul on Jackson State, trying to reach in to take it away from her. That foul's going to go on Hickman. That's going to be her first. First of the contest with 8.18 left to play opening period. And the Cougars with the last five points on their last two shots. The layup from Bella and the three from Tadar. All right, Eo's got it now top of the key. Around the right side, gives it to Wallach there. Wallach, a couple of steps in, looking to pass off. Does back out top to Charlize Ledger-Walker. She's directing traffic, gets it down low to Ula Motuga. On her way to the lane, tried to lean in, but also shuffled her feet as she was trying to get position down low. So a travel whistled, and it will be a ball brought back over to Jackson State. So the Cougars will commit their first turnover of the contest. 0 for 3 so far for Jackson State, while the Cougars 2 out of 4. Again, 
five, nothing our Washington State lead just over two minutes into the opening period. Muller's got it right in the paint, takes it to the free throw line, then tries to hit a cutting Angel Jackson, but she thought she was going to be farther out. Meanwhile, Angel was rolling towards the hoop, and they will throw it away, so that'll be a Jackson State turnover, and it's Washington State's ball once again with seven and three-quarter minutes left to play here opening stands. A little bit of backcourt pressure, 2-2-1 press from Jackson State, but the Cougars work their way through that. Charlize Ledger-Walker from the top, three ball on the way, rimming away no good. Bella got a tip on the rebound, but it kicks out to Jackson State. Muller will bring it across the timeline, give it to Covington. Back to Muller, her three's on the way and good. So Tyann Muller with the first three for Jackson State, and it's now 5-3 in favor of the Cougars. Now Ula Motuga, straightaway three. That's off the iron, no good. Rebound down to Angel Jackson. Ball knocked away from her, but she picks it up and will give it off to Covington. And now it's the Tigers with a chance to tie with the two or take the lead with the three. And we're gonna have a foul called on Tara Wallach as she was going for a steal, but They'll whistle Tara for the foul. That'll be her first. They'll inbound it right in front of me as Covington sets inbound here for Jackson State. Gives the ball a slap to put the play in motion. They will inbound to Hickman, right back to Covington. Covington goes over to the right. Now up top it comes to Bowler. Over to Luckett on the left-hand side. She gets a screen. Luckett from about 16 feet, and that one's good. So the first five to Washington State, the last five to Jackson State. We're even at five apiece, just about three and a half minutes in. Donna Tadar gives it to Charlie's Ledger Walker, back to Yo, around the screen, gives it to Bell on the screen and roll, attacks the basket, won't get it to go. Yo gets the rebound, kick out to Charlize, and that three, nothing but the bottom of the net for Charlie's Ledger Walker. So she's on the board. The Cougars once again take the lead. It's now eight to five. Six and change left to play opening quarter. Covington down to the baseline, puts one up from seven, rolls off the rim, no good. Wallach with the rebound. The pass ahead in rhythm to Bella Muricatete. She gets the layup in transition. Jackson State wants a timeout. So we'll step aside four minutes in. It's a media break from Pullman and the Cougars as points are coming in fives. A handful of points to the Cougars, five back to Jackson State, and the last five again to Washington State. With six minutes to play on the first, we'll step aside. It's 10-5 Cougars, and this is Cougar Women's Basketball from Learfield. Covington sends it up top. Martino is gonna let a three fly. That's gonna rim away. Long rebound down to Charlize Ledger Walker. She'll start up court herself. Feeds it ahead to Motuga. Now over to Tara Wallach. Tara's got it top of the key, giving it back to Ledger Walker. She will direct traffic from there. Gives it to Bella, right back to Charlize. Gonna drive baseline, a little floater from six, a little bit short. They battle for the rebound. And trying to save it in and doing so is gonna be Daphne White who checked in during the timeout. Covington quickly the other way. The kick out comes to Bowler who fires up a three and she rattles home another one. Bowler with her second three. She's got a half a dozen, and it's 10-8. Scoreboard says 10-7, but they ruled that a three. It should be 10-8 in favor of Washington State, I believe. Midway through the first now, it's Yo with another three. That one's too strong. Rebound comes down this time to Bowler. And now a chance for Jackson State to either draw even or go ahead with the three. And so far it's been five point runs, it was five to the Cougars, five to Jackson State, then five to the Cougars, so far three back Jackson State's way, and then as we try and get a steal from Charlize Ledger Walker, they're gonna call an illegal screen on Jackson State, it happened right as, again, Charlize was coming up with the steal, and a little fearful that they were gonna call it on Charlize, but they called it on the bad screen for Jackson State and Hickman has picked up her second, so she is gonna be whistled for the foul. And the Cougars will take back over, and driving in goes Bella Maricatete, trying to find inside position on Angel Jackson, but lost her pivot foot and will be whistled for a travel. So turnover for the Cougars. Each team now with a couple here in the first five and a half minutes. 10-8, Washington State with the lead. Covington with the ball, three-point line extended. 
Looking for cutters, finds Martino, who pops out in the corner. They feed it inside, shot put up, won't go, but a foul will be whistled, and it will send White to the free throw line. Going to call the foul on Bella. That's going to be her first, second against the Cougars. And it'll send Daphne White to the free throw line. So White to the stripe to shoot two here. First two free throws for either team to be shot. So down to 4.14 left to play opening period. White studies the rim. First free throw on the way. That one rims away no good. Cougars again will make their way up to Spokane tonight. Fly out early tomorrow down to the state of Texas and then Monday night. And just over 48 hours we'll be getting ready to take on Texas A&M Corpus Christi Monday night in Corpus Christi. Second free throw also no good. Bella will pick up the rebound for Washington State. It says a 10 a Cougar lead with 4.09 left to play opening quarter. Bella, top of the key. Gives to Wallach. Now up top to Lomotuga. She's got it out high. Gives it to Tadar. She's got it ahead of the key. Starts to drive in. Draws a foul. Are they going to give her continuation? They are. Okay. Yeah, we'll take it. There's a foul whistled on Liz Martino, her first. They're going to say Yo had started her act of shooting, I guess. So she led to the free throw line to shoot two. Hasn't shot a lot of free throws so far this season, but 10 out of 13 so far, 77%. She's averaging just over nine points per game. Of course, the Cougars have had great success when she gets to double digits. Meanwhile, Estera Tahina checking in, so AT will come in for Ula Motuga. And now the first free throw to be shot by Yo. On its way, and that one's off the mark. So nobody hitting free throws yet as Jackson State was 0 for 2 in their first trip to the line. Now this free throw is up and good, so one out of two. She's got four, the Cougar leads at three, it's 11-8. We've got underneath four minutes to play opening quarter. Hunter is checked in, she's got a top of the key. Over it will come now, left-hand side to Bowler. Has already hit a couple of threes. Now it'll go to White. That ball kicked loose. Tahina comes away with it. Feeds it ahead to Charlize Ledger-Walker. Little stop and go move. The kick out. Bell at the free throw line. Oh, a nice little fake and a drive all the way to the rack to put it up and in. bella has got a half a dozen and the Cougars up by five again. It's 13 to eight. 320 left to play. First quarter action as Yell going for the steal. Then will be whistled for the foul. Her first, third against the Cougars as Angel Jackson back into the game. Also, Luckett returns for Jackson State. Luckett will inbound right where we're located here on the near sideline. Three-point line extended. Comes into Martino. Right back to Luckett. Feeds it inside to Jackson. She tries to pass it, but getting her hands up in the air and knocking it away as Wallach. That'll create a turnover and a Cougar steal. Now, Tahina at the three-point line. Going to be whistle for just a little bit of a hop on that one is going to be whistled for a travel. A little nickel dimer there and that'll be a turnover back over to Jackson State. So it'll be Tiger basketball and we've got seven minutes gone by. 13-8. Cougs five out of 12. Jackson State three out of eight so far in this one. It'll be Luckett top of the key. Pass it over the right side. Picking it up there will be Hunter. Drives it to free throw line. Passes off to Luckett. Drives inside. Gets it to pass in low. They feed Angel Jackson, who is in the paint, and she'll put it up and in. So Angel has her first two. And with that, a bucket for her to make it a three point Cougar lead. Now Tahina near corner. Gives it to. To the arm, and up top it comes to Charlize Ledger Walker through the lane, a kick out. Wallach open for a corner three. That one misses everything. Rebound coming down to Jackson State. So now the Tigers with it into four core. Goes to Jackson on the baseline. Her eight footer is going to be short. They're going to whistle a rebounding foul on Tara Wallach. That'll be her second. So Tara whistled for the foul. And that's going to be the fourth against Washington State, but second on Terra. And it'll be Jackson State to inbound with 20 on the shot clock. Comes in to Martino. She feeds it to Jackson, backing up on Walk, puts it up too strong off the window, and 
Bella down with the rebound this time. Cougars back across and into front court. Charlie Sledger Walker will take control left of the paint. Backs it up to the three-point line, up to the three-point arc. We'll try and feed it inside to Bella. She secures it, gives it back to Charlize. Three ball on the way, got it. Another three from Charlize Ledger Walker. That's where all six of her points have come on a couple of triples. And the Cougars now up by a half a dozen at 16 to 10. 135 left to play here in the first. In the corner, driving in. Now passing in low to Angel Jackson. Try to reverse layup, but it ends up off the bottom of the rim. And with the loose ball is Wallach now in transition. Feeds it to Charlize. Another three ball. Got it. Charlize Ledger Walker with three threes. She's got nine. And the Cougars have scored the last half a dozen in 30 seconds time. And they've got a nine-point lead. Now look at the other way. Driving in on Bella. That one a floater that goes in. So look at with the basket. It's now 19 to 12 in favor of Washington State. 50 seconds left to play first quarter. Bella, high post, going high low down to Tara, puts up a shot and a foul is whistled. Foul against Jackson State. This one called on Alexis Roberts. She'll pick up her first. Tara Wallach to the free throw line to shoot a couple. Sophomore out of South Surrey, Canada. Heads to the stripe now for Washington State. She is 12 out of 15 so far from the line. Bella getting a good hand as she's put in six points on what's been three out of five shooting. Actually make it three out of four for Bella. You know, Wallach deposits the first free throw. Bell also five first quarter rebounds as the Cougars have out-rebounded Jackson State 11-5. to five. Tara 80% from the line on the air and deposits both of those into the bank. So she has her first two points. She's got a couple of fouls. They don't want her to pick up an easy third one here in the first. So Sarber will come in for her. And Nan Curvis is also in action. Nan Curvis in for Wallach. Meanwhile, with 40 seconds left to play, Cougars up by nine, and an illegal screen whistled against Jackson State. Layla Walker, a freshman from Gulfport, Mississippi, is going to be whistled for the foul. That is the fifth on Jackson State, but no bonus situation on the offensive foul. The Cougars will inbound. It'll be Tahina to bring it across the timeline. Shot clock, first quarter clock, about four seconds difference. We're down to 20 on the shot clock, 24 left to play in the first. Tahina with it between the rings. Out on her is Luckett. Now they give it to Nan Curvis at the top of the key. Over to Sarver, eight left to shoot. Comes back out to Yo with five left to shoot. She's going to get the screen from Nan Curvis, and now we're going to have an illegal screen called on Emma Nan Curvis. So that'll be her first. Cammy thinking maybe she was there. Just a hard screen that saw Jackson State and their player hit the deck, but it will be called for a moving screen. Meanwhile, Jackson State will have six and a half seconds to try and put some points on the board here. So they'll have to go three quarters court. Comes in to luck it. They'll want to commit a foul here over Washington State. It'll put them under the bonus. Meanwhile, putting up the D3. It's off the mark. No good. Walker. Tried to get a putback, but it was late, and the first quarter comes to a close. All right, well, the Cougars got a trio of threes from Charlize Ledger Walker. She led the way with nine. Bella had six points and five rebounds in the first. And at the end of 10 minutes, it's Washington State up by nine as they lead it by a 21 to 12 score at the end of the quarter, number one. We'll step aside from Pullman. Glad to have you with us on this Saturday afternoon. This is Cougar Women's Basketball from Lairfield. Jackson State, five turnovers. Washington State had four. And after we were tied at five apiece, a 16 to seven run on the final six, seven minutes of that opening quarter by Washington State. And they've got the ball to start the second. Yo's gonna fire up a three. That's gonna miss just to the right of the rim off the backboard. And the rebound comes down to Jackson State. Jackson State will have Luckett bring it across. Gives it over to the right-hand side. With it over there is Covington on her server. Covington trying to get around her. Now feeds it in low to Roberts. Back across the 
paint to Covington inside to White, then back out to Covington. And on the post it goes to White, then they kick it back out to Bowler with now five left to shoot. It's off the foot. Bowler picks it up, going to try and get off a shot, instead passes it, and that's going to be a 30-second shot clock violation. And they were sharing the ball, but nobody willing to put it up, and with it, the 30-second shot clock violation and a turnover for Jackson State. So the Cougars with it, getting the stop on the first defensive possession. Back on the offensive end, they'll go. Tahina to Yo, back over comes to Shirley's Ledger Walker. Now Tahina into the corner, Sarver three, that one's good. Grace Sarver with the corner triple. The Cougars have five now in the contest. Sarver has her first in the lead to double digits for the first time this afternoon. It's 24 to 12. Covington directing traffic, drives down the lane, puts it up off the window, just rattles around and falls off. Tahina picks up the loose change, feeds it ahead to Sarver. She gives it to Sar Charlize Ledger Walker. Looked like she got hammered, but no call. But Sarver's there for the rebound on the putback. Well, it sure looked like Charlize got hacked going up, but Sarver was there for the rebound on the garbage chute. And with that, the Cougars still get the two, and it's 26 to 12. Now Bowler loses the ball going up. Charlize Ledger Walker comes away with the Cougars trying to play downhill. Charlize on her way, looking for trailers. The kick out to Dar for three. Got it. Yo with the three and another early timeout in the quarter from Jackson State. So the Cougars, who had a 21 to 12 lead at the end of one, have exploded for the first eight points of the second quarter in the first 155. Their lead all the way out to 17 now as we'll step aside after an early Jackson State timeout here in the second quarter. 8.05 to play before halftime. It's Washington State 29, Jackson State 12, and we're back after this. It's Cougar Women's Basketball from Lairfield. As they are three for five in the quarter, already eight assists for Washington State on the 10 makes. Remember. They've had a little trouble last couple of games in that assist category. The offense looking much better today. And with it, a 29 to 12 lead for Washington State as they've scored the first eight of quarter number two. And this lead has jumped out to 17 after it was at one stage an 11-8 contest. Now a pass inside. They're going to whistle Nan Kerr was for the foul on the entry pass. That'll be her second. But an 18 to four run here for the Cougars. And their lead again up to a 17-point bulge with now 7.51 left to play. The officials are going to be patient and wait for Bella. They saw her emerging from the bench, and they decided to hold play until she got to the scorer's table. She'll come in for Nan Curvis. And bounce pass to Jackson, throws one up at the rim, and they're going to whistle a foul. And one second into the contest, they're going to call a foul on Bella. Well, Bella was just kind of standing there, and Angel Jackson just threw it up at the backboard and got mailed out with the foul call. And now Jackson will head to the stripe to shoot two. Again, a senior out of Richmond, California. Name should be familiar if you followed Pac-12 basketball out of USC, where she was playing before transferring to Jackson State. Hits her first free throw of the afternoon. This is her first trip to the foul line. She now has three points. Jackson State now on the board here in the second after the Cougars started with the first eight points. And now Jackson with a couple of free throws and it's 29-14. The Cougars up by 15. 7.45 left to play first half. Cougars with it. Sower at the top of the key for Washington State. Delivers over to Tahina. Gets a screen from Charlie's Ledger Walker. Now Sarver feeds it inside to Bella working against Angel Jackson. Backs her down into the paint. Puts up a shot as they kind of body each other around it. Rolls around the rim. No good. Bella gets the rebound. Tries to put it up again. And then ultimately a late whistle comes. They're going to call the foul on Jariah Covington. That'll be her first. And Bella will head to the free throw line to shoot a couple. Bella six points so far on the day. Also a half a dozen rebounds already for her. And she heads to the line for the first time this afternoon. Averaging just about 15 points per game and almost eight rebounds per contest. Her free throw shooting has 
Gotten better year after year here on the Palouse. Up to a 62% free throw shooter now. First one good, second one also good as well. So she's up to eight. To her lead back to 17, it's 31-14. 7.20 left to play second quarter. Covington has it right side. Three-point line extended, passes back out near the midcourt stripe to Luckett. She'll drive in, tries to get that downhill drive and then leaned in and puts it up and in off the window. So luck it with a half a dozen now for Jackson State. 31-16, just under seven minutes to play his second quarter action. Bella out high on the right, gives it to Sorber, top of the key. Sorber tries to feed it inside to Bill, but that one deflected and taken away by Jackson State. Now luck it through traffic into four court, picks up the ball and gives it back to Covington as they'll set up the half court offense. Covington. Around the defender, that one blocked away by Ula Motuga. It will stay with Jackson State with 16 left to go on the shot clock. 6.31 now left to play before halftime. Another substitution for Washington State, but first to go, I think, trying to get something off of her. She had one of those things that stimulates the muscles, and we're set and ready to go. She has checked in. Sarber will check out. Meanwhile, Covington to inbound. Comes to Luckett, her shot from 16. It's going to be short. Bella tips the rebound to herself. Hauls in her seventh of the first half. And the Cougars in transition. Nice little no-look pass to Bella in the paint. And they don't whistle a foul as Bella goes down hard on an attacking the rim opportunity. Covington loses the basketball. Charlize Ledger Walker hops out of the pile with it. Three on three the other way. Charlize going to bounce it to Joanna Tedor, and she's going to put it up and in. So Johanna now has got a total of nine first half points. And we're under six to play here in the first half. And the Cougar lead is at 33 to 16. A lot more balance in the scoring column today for the Cougars. Charlize Ledger Walker with nine. Yo's got nine. Bella's got eight. There's a three from Covington that misses. Long rebound down to Jackson State. Hunter will take over top of the key. Gets the screen from Walker. Into the lane she goes. Holding her ground defensively is Ula Motuga. Picking up the loose ball. Charlize Ledger Walker. Motuga fires it ahead to Tahina. Now trailer's coming. Yo's going to pick it up. Give it out to Charlize Ledger Walker. Drives into the lane. Bounces it to Bella. Wide open for the lane. And she puts it up and in. Ten for Bella Maracatete. The Cougars now with 12 field goals and 10 assists on those 12 makes as they're shooting 50% in the first half, and it's 35-16. In the paint to Jackson, stripped away by Tahina, and it's off of Jackson, and it will be Washington State. Well, good play by Estera Tahina defensively. Wholesale substitutions on the Jackson State side of things. Meanwhile, with 4.56 left to play second quarter, Cougars with it again. And again, now working with a 19-point lead. Tahina over to the right side. Back out to the top of the key with the dribble. Fires it onto the baseline. Kick out to Motugu, fakes the three. Into the near sideline. Three from Charlize. Rolls around and falls in. Charlize Ledger Walker with four threes. She's got a dozen, and it's 38-16. Covington into the lane, puts that one up, rattles off no good. Bella, another rebound for Washington State. She's now got seven here in the first half. Meanwhile, for the Cougars the other way, another three from Charlize. That one rolls off no good. Spun out, then a battle for the rebound. It's loose. It'll be tied up, and the hell ball will belong to Jackson State. Well, Charlie Sledger Walker out to a dozen points. It's rare when she doesn't get to double digits. And she is there once again after the 40-point effort last weekend for Charlize. The 56th time in her career out of 64 games played that she's gotten to double digits. Right-hand side, Hunter with it. Takes it down to the baseline. Runs out of real estate, tries to pass it out top, intercepted by Washington State. 
Now Charlize Ledger Walker across the midcourt stripe. Gives to Motuga top of the key. Over to Tadar. Three point line. Over left of the paint now to Bella. Her shot from 12 is good. She's got a dozen. And the Cougars are up to 40 now with three and a half left to play. Nice to see the offense moving. They're getting into it a little quicker. Screens are crisper, and obviously the shots are there as well. 14 out of 27 now. And again for Washington State, continuing to pick up some assists. Meanwhile, it's Jackson State getting it inside, and that one is going to be off the mark. No good. Rebound down to Washington State. No, it was a layup. I'm sorry. Mar Martino missed it, excuse me, and then Ula Mutuga came down with the rebound. Meanwhile, Ula's got it in the paint on the other side of things. Looked like she was fouled, no call. Now the ball loose. Jackson State comes away with it. In the lane, putting her up from 12. That's off the mark for Covington. Another rebound to Washington State. That one coming down to Bella Murakatete. So 2.40 left to play first half. It's 40 to 16. Charlize Ledger-Walker has it out at the top. Signaling that she wants motion from her teammates, and they start to move. Comes over to Yo. Skips it to Tahina, left-hand side. She'll fire up the three. That's off the side of the rim, no good. And up for the rebound will go Covington. 2.20 left to play here before halftime. Again, Cougs not only with a 24-point lead, but outscoring Jackson State 19-4 so far here in the second quarter. White to the top of the key. There's a three, and that one is going to be good. And it's their three-point shooter, Diane Bowler, who has her third three. She's up to nine points, and it's 40-19. Probably the one true sniper on this Jackson State team. Jackson State in the zone. Cougars will feed it inside to Ula. Looks a reverse layup, up and good for Motuga. Her first two points of the afternoon, and it's 42-19. Minute 35 left to play, second quarter. Cougs by 23 here. Meanwhile, Covington will call out the play. Takes it left-hand side, into the corner to Bowler. Looking inside, now puts the ball to the deck. Gives it back, now to Martino in the near corner. Martino going to drive into the lane, puts up the shot in traffic and got the roll. Liz Martino has her first two. Meanwhile, it's Washington State back with it on their offensive end. Charlize Ledger-Walker into the corner. Tahina fakes the three, now drives in. The kick out, Charlize for three. Ah, oh, does a 7-20 and somehow rattles it out. Gets the lid off the rim. 42 to 21, still the score. And Martino the other way for Jackson State at the three point line, right out in front of the Cougar coaching staff. Starts the dribble, has a couple, steps back, puts up a three, but that one's well short. Charlize Ledger Walker down with the board. Bounces it ahead. Tadar onto the attack. Will be stripped, but they're also going to call a foul, and she'll head to the line. Foul on Covington, her second. So the senior from Asonia will head to the free throw line. A chance for her to become the third Cougar to double digits. Actually, they're going to call this foul on the ground, or are they going to give her two free throws? They're going to say not in the act of shooting, my mistake. So it'll be Cougars ball to inbound with 34.7 left to play. Comes out to Motuga, fires it back down low to Charlize Ledger-Walker, and she'll get the easy bucket inside. 14 for Charlize, and it's the Cougars by 23, 44-21. Luckett driving on Kaya Woods, who's checked in. She'll take it to the rim, and a foul will be whistled. They're going to call it on Kaya Woods. She'll pick up her first. And it will send Covington to the free throw line. Sarver will check into the game now for Washington State with 19.2 left. Cougars just over 50%. They're 52% on 16 out of 31. Meanwhile, for the Tigers, they're 8 out of 26, 31%. Luckett converts on the free throw. She's got seven. Second leading scorer for Jackson State. The three threes from Bowler leading the way. Meanwhile, Luckett makes the second as well, so she's got eight. And it's 44-23. Cougars for the final possession of the first half as we're down to the final 10 seconds. 
Charlize Ledger Walker with it, gives it over to Gardner is checked in. Now Motuga with it with three, down to two. Charlize Ledger Walker fires up a three and hammers it home right at the halftime buzzer. Well, 40 last weekend, 17 so far in the first half today. Want to talk about a tried and true score? It's one Charlize Ledger Walker. And with five threes in the contest, now has 17. And the Cougars, they double check to make sure it's a three and it's good, and they say yes. Take a 24 point lead into the locker room at halftime. Cougars led by nine at the end of one, but they outscored Jackson State 26 to 11 in the second. And as we've reached intermission, it's the Cougars 47, the Tigers 23. We're back with the halftime show next. This is Cougar Women's Basketball from Learfield. Utah and Colorado as we ring in 2023. Utah a couple days before we get to 2023 on December the 30th. And then on New Year's afternoon, we take on Colorado here from Beasley. All right, underway now when it comes to the second half action. They'll double team Charlie Sledger Walker. She will pass out of it to... Bella Maracatete, she holds the ball, waits for traffic to clear, gives it to Tadar, three on the way, rimming away, Wallach comes down with an offensive rebound though. Now it's gonna be Wallach who puts up the three near corner, that's off the side of the rim, and Bowler picks up the rebound for Jackson State. Meanwhile, the pass comes up court, a little bit of a minor bump between Luckett and also Tadar, and Yo's gonna pick up the foul. So she'll pick up her second, that's the first foul of the Second half here, 47-23 again our score. Washington State up by 24. Angel Jackson was only in the game about a half a minute. She's gonna check out and Daphne White will check in for her. You know, Covington has it now on offense for Jackson State. Over to Martino, left-hand side. Actually check that, this is Bowler. Now gives it back out. This is Luckett at the three-point stripe, penetrates in. Back out to Bowler for a three and she is and again, firing up threes and hasn't missed yet. She's taken four of them. She's connected on all four. She's got a dozen. Meanwhile, the pass inside to Motuga who will be fouled going up. And Ula Motuga, who had good inside position, will head to the free throw line to shoot a couple. Foul's going to go on Daphne White. That'll be her first. And Ula now to the free throw line to shoot a couple of free throws. Ula now into her fifth season of Washington State hoops. A little bit later on in the season, she will start to creep up into the top ten as far as games played in Cougar history. Has been wearing that uniform over the last half decade for the Cougars. Makes her first free throw, gets ready now for her second. Ula at just over six points per contest. Came into the contest only 50% for the line, but has no problem with those two. She makes them both, and the Cougars have their first two points in the second half. It's 49-26. Now Bowler into the lane, puts one up this time from two. She misses on that one, but a rebound down to Jackson State. And then as she tried to go up with it, she being Hickman, it was stripped away. Now it's going to be the Cougars back with it. Nice pass in low. Wallach was going to fire a three, but noticed Yo was wide open underneath the basket, and Tadar becomes the third Cougar to double digits. She's got 11. 51-26 Washington State now. Bowler has it top of the key. We'll give right-hand side, then back up it comes to Luckett. Takes a step inside the arc, puts it up, and connects from about 17 feet away. She'll... Join Bowler's double-digit scores for Jackson State as she now has 10. It's 51-28. This is Bella firing it inside to Wallach. Little fall away from six. Up and good for Tara Wallach. She's got four. 53-28 Washington State. They continue to share the basketball nicely. Covington to Bowler. Bowler out at the top of the key. On the weave. Hands off to Luckett. Now she's going to bring it back over to Bowler. Bowler going to be going around the left-hand side. Now they're going to call an offensive foul on Jackson State. It's going to go on Daphne White. She'll pick up her second. She'll head to the bench as Angel Jackson back in for her. Meanwhile, Martino will check in for Luckett. 7.40 left to play third quarter. It's 53-28 Washington State. 
Bella will hand off to Terrell Wallach. Now it goes to Matuga. Fires it to Charlize Ledger. Walker at the left elbow of the key. Backs it up to the three-point line with the dribble. Going to start to make her way in, but her pocket picked. Doesn't happen very often, but Martino able to take it away from her. Gives it to Covington, and now Jackson State with it. It'll be a free-throw line jumper from Covington. She hammers it home. So Covington has her first two. It's 53-30 to 30 now. Three minutes gone by here in the third. Maricatete at the high post. Fakes the left, goes to the right, tries to pass it off, and then gets tied up, and we're going to have a foul whistled on Ula Motuga after the ball came loose. Ula Motuga will pick up her first. Ball back over to Jackson State. Jackson State playing with a little more energy after kind of getting it handed to him in the first half. Covington will give it now to Bowler tries to turn the corner. Downhill drive towards the hoop. That one's going to end up off of her and out of bounds. So a turnover for Jackson State. Cougs with eight turnovers so far. Meanwhile, for the Jackson State Tigers, they're sitting at 11. You know, Tadar at the three-point stripe gives it to Wallach. Wallach looking for cutters. Now instead will dribble it back out towards the top and... Give to Tadar. She gets a screen, takes it into the corner, finds a rolling Terrell Wallach to the rim who lays it up and in. Half a dozen points for Wallach. Cougars continue with their now 18th assist on the day. All right, with it over on the far sideline, a little bit of a muscle between Tadar and Martino. They're going to call the foul on Yo. She's going to pick up her third, first player on either side to have three fouls. Estera Tahina will check in. They welcome her into the contest as Yo will have a seat with her three foul. 6 11 left to play here, third quarter. Washington State by 25. They were up by 24 at halftime and up 25 here with 6 11 to play in the third. Covington will take the handoff, goes around the right side. Feeds it to Jackson from the free throw line from 15, off the mark. Motuga comes down at the rebound, waits for traffic to clear, and then fires it ahead to Tahina. Estera Tahina now on the offensive end, picks up the dribble, bounces it to Charlie Sledger Walker, right back to Tahina. Now she goes inside to Motuga. Motuga doubled, hits a cutting Terrell Wallach. She'll put it up. That one's going to go on a foul whistle. Well, Terrell Wallach. Showing her scoring ability here in the second half. Angel Jackson will pick up the foul call. And now Wallach with six of her eight points coming here in the third quarter. And is just a couple points away from becoming the fourth Cougar to double digits this afternoon. Tara has averaged 10 points per game this season for the Cougars. First free throw up. That one is going to be off the mark. It's the only free throw because, again, she got the basket. Rebound down to Jackson State. And then as they're coming up the sideline, a little bit of a body action on a check from Tahina. Almost a little hockey-style check, and she'll pick up the foul call. That'll be her first. Jackson State will inbound with 5.37 to play. Meanwhile, Covington wants a towel. I don't know if when she was over on the sideline, something may have spilled on it. It doesn't look to be... Anything that they want other than maybe, uh, looks like maybe there is a little bit of blood somewhere. And so now Bella Murakatete is going to come over to the sideline. Looks like she's got a little bit of blood streaming down from her knee that will need to get cleaned up. So now they're going to give her a bit of time to try and get patched up and back into the game. Other than that, they would need a substitution. So they're giving her 15 seconds, and if not, the Cougars will need a substitution. Looks like they have got her back and ready to roll though. So she returns back to Zvilla with 5.37 left to play the third quarter. Looks like we're ready to get back to it here. Cougars have outscored the Tigers 10 to 7 so far in what's been 4.23. Now Bella going to be sent off one more time. Looks like they got it with a towel but they will probably need to find a band-aid or something to patch it up and she will Retreat to the bench, and Emma Nan Curvis will check in for her now. 
All right, so Jackson State's inbound. Covington will have it. She's got it between the circles. Looking for cutters. Now instead to clear out, so she drives in on Tahina, took it all the way to the basket to lay it in. So Covington with her second basket. She's got four points. It's 57-32 Washington State. Approaching the midway point of quarter number three. We're down to five, 12 and counting left to play. Tahina fires up the three off the side of the rim, but on an offensive rebound to Motuga, bounces it to Dan Curvis, back to Tahina. She tries to pass it, it's deflected, gets it back, and then she puts it up and in. Tahina has her first two, it's 59 to 32. Three ball the other way from Bowler, finally missed one. Weak side rebound to Charlie Sledger Walker. Now Tahina gets it back up court as the Cougars moving with more pace here today. Motuga for the three, it's in and out, stays out. Jackson coming down with the rebound for the Jackson State Tigers. And now Covington will walk it up with four and a half left to play third quarter. Washington State 59, Jackson State 32 on a Saturday afternoon from Easley. Again, they'll clear out for Covington. This time Charlie Sledger Walker blocks it from behind. It's out of bounds and we'll stay with Jackson State, but since we're past the midway point in the quarter, that whistle is going to take us to a media timeout. So we'll step aside with 4.23 left to play in the third. It's Washington State 59, Jackson State 32. This is Cougar Women's Basketball from Lairfield. As the ball will be brought in on the baseline, Jackson State to bring it in. They get it to Bowler. She then gives it back outside to Luckett. She'll take it out to the top with now seven left to shoot. Bounces it to the high post to Bowler. Fires it inside to Jackson, turns, spins, puts up the shot, won't go, and the rebound tapped out to Ula Mutuga, who will take it for Washington State. Now back up court for the Cougars. Wallach fires it inside to Nan Curvis. Nan Curvis working against Jackson, nowhere to go with it, so we'll bring it back outside to Motuga. Motuga to Tahina. We're under four minutes to play third quarter. Tahina gives it to Ula Mutuga on a roll, and they're gonna whistle a travel on Ula Mutuga. Cougars haven't had a lot of turnovers, but that'll become their ninth. It's Jackson State with 11 so far. Three and three quarters left to play here in the third. 59-32, Washington State. Bowler gives to Luckett. Now over to Martino. She feeds it in low. Driving to the hoop, but missing the shot in low is going to be Walker, and Nan Curvis comes down with the rebound. Motuga. Feeds it to Wallach, left of the paint. Wallach gonna go to work on Bowler. Now a kick out to Tahina for three. That's gonna go off the rim, no good. Rebounding foul, whistle. And it's gonna go against Tyann Bowler, her first. So it'll be Cougar basketball. Meanwhile, they continue to substitute on the Jackson State side of things. Jackson back out again. She's only going short spurts at a time here today. Daphne White will check in for her. Walker out. And, and for the first time, we see Haley Breland, the freshman from Wiggins, Mississippi. And mounts pass to Ulamatuga. Tried a little jump hook that won't fall for her. Breland comes down with the rebound. Maneuvers her way up court, then fires a pass over to Martino. Gets it inside to White. Now to Bowler. Fakes the shot. We've got a foul whistled. On the ground on Emma Nan Curvis trying to hold her ground inside. That'll be her third. Sarver will check in. She's going to give who a break. Looks like Ula Motuga will head to the sideline. Meanwhile, the foul on Nan Curvis puts Jackson State to the free throw line as the Cougars are in the number of fouls to put Jackson State into the bonus. White's free throw off the mark, no good. White missed a couple her first. Two times to the line back in the first half, now 0 for 3 from the foul line. And the redshirt senior from Gulfport, Mississippi, ready for her second free throw this trip. That one's up and good for Daphne White. So one out of four in the game, one out of two on that trip. And it is 59-33. Washington State up by 26, as we've gone just underneath three minutes to play third quarter. Sarver to Charlie Sledger Walker. Back it comes to Sarver. End of the corner to Tahina. 
Out to Wallach at the three-point line. Skips it to Sorber. Inside the Nankervis. Little shot with the left hand up and good off the window for Emma Nankervis. So Emma Nankervis in the scoring column for Washington State. Comes the eighth Cougar to score, and it's now 61-33. Cougars on top with 220 left to play. Pass inside the white. It's knocked aside by Charlize Ledger Walker. She comes the other way with it for the Cougars. Going to go all the way to the rim. Nobody stopped her, but misses the layup. And Kervis had the rebound, and then as she put it down to the deck for a dribble, it ends up being poked away. Not going to see Charlize miss that often from point blank range, but the Cougars will keep the ball out of it. Meanwhile, Jackson and White continue on almost like a hockey line, getting 30 to 40 second shifts at a time. And now Jackson comes back in, inbounds pass from Tahina taken away. Luckett going downhill, gives it to uh, Trailing Martino, who has a three rattle out. Breland an offensive rebound with that one blocked by Dan Curvis. Now a shot from Bowlers off the mark. And we're gonna have a rebounding foul called on Grace Sarver. So Sarver will pick up the foul call, and that's going to put Angel Jackson to the free throw line. Meanwhile, Gardner getting set to check in now for Washington State. So Kira will check in, one of the Cougar freshmen out of Raymond, Washington. She'll come in and give Charlie Sledger Walker a well-earned break with 154 left to play. Charlie 17 in the first half, hasn't scored so far here in the third. Jackson, two for two from the line so far, has four points. This free throw's up and good as well, so she's up to five. Cougars again, 24-point lead at halftime. Jackson State has kept the Cougar offense more in check here in this quarter. Is the second free throw also good from Jackson. She now has a total of six points. Cougars have put up 14 so far here in the third quarter. Meanwhile, Jackson State has put up a dozen. Not after the Cougars scored 47 first half points. 21 in the first and 26 in the second. All right, Sarver with it for Washington State. Over to Tahina. She'll drive in, puts up the shot. That's off the glass and good. Estera Tahina adds two more for Washington State. And it's 63 to 35. Minute and a half left to play third quarter. Covington around the right side of the horn. Will hand off there. Goes to Hunter. Actually, check that. This is Luckett. Luckett tries the euro step around the defender, but Wallach is there for the rebound. She'll clean it up and bring it across the timeline herself. Fires it ahead to Gardner. She gets it inside to Nan Curvis. Nan Curvis dribbles, goes to the left, puts it up with the left hand. Foul called, and the bucket will count for Ellen Nan Curvis. Foul whistle, that's gonna go against Angel Jackson. That'll be her second. So Emma Nan Curvis now to the free throw line. Meanwhile, Kyle Woods getting set to check in. Nan Curvis now into her senior season out of Mount Eliza, Australia. And we'll head to the free throw line to try and complete the three point play. She comes set, first free throw up. That's off the mark, no good. Jackson. There to pull down the rebound. Cougs by 30 now, 65-35. We're under a minute to play here in the third. Covington out in front of her own bench. Now gives to Bowler, has got Kyle Woods on her. Gives it to Jackson, her mid-range shot good from about 12 feet away. Angel Jackson with the basket, she's up to eight. 65-37 now, 35 seconds left to play in the quarter. Four seconds or so separating the shot clock and the third quarter clock. Gardner gives to Nan Curvis. Goes high low to Wallach. Wallach has to tip it out to Woods. Now Sarber puts up the three. It's off the back of the rim. Battle for the rebound, out of bounds, and it'll stay with Washington State. 15.9 left to play in the quarter. Shot clock will be turned off here. And Sarver inbound for Washington State. Gives to Dan Curvis, then out to Kyle Woods. Down to 10. Gardner going to put up the three. Got it! Gardner, the freshman from three-point land. 
Now for Jackson State. Gary gonna try and get one last three. That's off the mark, no good. Gardner becomes the fourth Cougar to hit a three, and the Cougars have now hit nine in the contest. And that three also gives the Cougars their biggest lead of the afternoon. Their lead is ballooned out to 31. With 10 minutes to play in Pullman, it's Washington State 68, Jackson State 37. We're back with the fourth quarter after this. It's Cougar women's basketball from Learfield. All right, 68-37, Washington State. It will be Jackson State's ball as we open up the fourth quarter and a foul six seconds into the quarter. Little hand check call on Kaya Woods. Haven't been calling it that close throughout the contest, but did on that play for some reason. So Kaya picks up the early foul and Jackson State one mound again. Fired, trying to go back door to Jackson, but we're actually checking that to Stephanie White, but fronting her was Nan Curvis and was able to knock it away. So now here comes the inbounds pass for Jackson State. Comes into Daphne White. Tries to muscle it up and in and does just throw it up in the air and it ends up falling in for Daphne White. That's her first field goal and three points in the game. It's 68-39 now. Woods to Gardner, top of the key. Gets a screen from Nan Curvis. Back out top to Woods. Fires it inside to Emma. Emma spins to the right, puts it up. That's off the backboard, just a little too strong. Rebound comes down. Kyle Woods tries to strip it away from Jackson State, but cannot. And it will stay to the Tigers. Again, 68-39. Washington State with the lead. Jackson State has tested itself with varying degrees of success against some powerful teams in Power 5 conferences here in the non-conference, including a few against Pac-12 teams. Here's Bowler driving in on Sarver. Puts that shot up from the left elbow. It spins around and falls out. White down with the rebound. Tries to muscle it up and in. Can't. Gets another crack at it. And this time a foul call will be whistled on Eminem and Curvis. So Emma has picked up her fourth personal. That'll send Daphne White to the free throw line to shoot a couple. Bella will get set to check in. Charlie Sledger Walker also back into the contest. Wallach and Nan Curvis over to the bench. Meanwhile, White, who has struggled with the free throw line, one out of four, back to the stripe for two more free throws here. Holds the ball at her left hip for a good long while. Now is finally starting to get into the motion. That free throw is going to be short. So obviously it's not been her day at the free throw line. And now one out of five from the line. Now this time she's kind of flexing her right hand. There's no continuous routine for her. And that's part of the reason she probably struggles and misses that one as well. Rebound comes down to Washington State. Gardner gives it to Charlize Ledger Walker. Back up top to Sarver. Now Charlize Ledger Walker with it. Gets a screen from Bella. Fires it to Bella on the screen and roll. She kicks it back out to Woods. Now Gardner going to put up a three. There was no foul call. Gardner is grabbing her elbow. She got hammered. And now Kyle Woods comes down with it. Up top it comes to Mercatete. Gets it inside to Gardner. Still going to put it up and in. Looks like maybe caught her funny bone, is what I'm hoping. She's kind of rubbing that, but she's not liking the feeling right now. She is holding that right arm. Meanwhile, Hunter's got it. She's going to fire it inside to White. Puts up a shot, won't go. Rebound comes down, it's out of bounds, and it's going to stay with Jackson State. Gardner's still feeling the effects, and she's still holding that arm down there on the right side, but I think she's trying to play through at the very least. But she is continuing to favor that right arm of hers. You know, the inbounds pass to come in. They get it in. There's the three from Martino, and that's up and good from Liz Martino. So she's got five points. Meanwhile, for the Cougars, they'll bring it across. Again, you get caught in the funny bone. I can sting for a while. It looks like maybe that was the case for Gardner. She makes a strong drive to the hoop and lays it up and in. So seven points off the bench for her, and it's 72 to 42, Washington State by 30. 
Meanwhile, Jackson State's gonna have Martino fire up another three. This one from straight on. Rebound comes down to Jackson State. Martino probably traveling, got away with it. Fakes another three, misses that one. And Gardner comes down with the rebound. Starts it up court. Contact between Bella and a defender. And they're gonna say Bella ran over the defender and they're gonna whistle her for the foul. So Bella's gonna pick up her third. By the way, the seven here for Gardner does become a career high for her. She had five in the opener against Loyola. So again, Kira Gardner with now a career high seven points off the bench here in the second half for the Cougars. Seven and a half left to play. Cougs by 30, Jackson State with it. Hunter feeds it inside to Angel Jackson, spins to the left, that one falls off no good. Kyle Woods has to save it in, but does come down with it for Washington State. Now Gardner will push, gives it to Woods. Woods fires it inside to Bella, ball poked away from her. Woods picks it up, puts up the shot, but blocked away by Angel Jackson. Now it'll be Luckett to bring it up court, gives it ahead. Three ball from the left-hand side, that's an air ball. That one misses for Hunter, rebound down to the Cougars. Gardner will cross the mid-court stripe. Again, on her way towards the basket. Fires it into the corner to Woods. Bell at the free throw line. Gives it to Charlize Ledger-Walker. She'll fire up the three. Got it! Charlize Ledger-Walker with three more. And she's now tied Alexis Swedland on the all-time scoring list. So she's up to 20. 75-42 Washington State with the advantage. Buller drives in, kicks it off left-hand side. Martino muscling her way in, puts up the shot, won't go. Rebound down to Bella Maricatete. Now Charlize back across the timeline, stops at the arc, skips it into the corner to Kyle Woods, now it goes to Sarver. Back out to Charlize Ledger-Walker, fires it inside to Bella, fakes the shot, drives in, draws a foul, and will head to the free throw line. So a... Couple of free throws coming up here for Bella after the foul called on Angel Jackson, her third. 20 points here for Charlize Ledger-Walker. Now the 29th time in her career she's gotten a 20 or more. And again, with the 20 points, now tied for 14th all time on the scoring list as she ties Lex, Alexis Swedland, who had 1,157 in her career. Meanwhile, Bella Maricatete hitting her first free throw. Second free throw up. That one's good as well. So 14 now for Bella. A double-double for Bella Maricatete. She's got 14 points and 10 rebounds. So Bella now with a double-double. And a 77-42 score. And a three rattles in out back in again for Covington. So she'll hit the three. By the way, finishing thought on Bella. Fourth time this season, ninth time in her career, she's gotten to a double-double. She's got a top of the key. We'll give to Charlie Sledger Walker at the three-point line. Drives in, stops, puts one up. That one a little bit short. Rebound coming down to Jackson State. Not a little swipe by a foul called on Grace Sorber. It's going to be her second personal. But you've got 20 from Charlize. They're shooting a little better than 50%. 22 assists on 29 makes and a double-double from Bella Maricatete. All in all, a pretty nice day for Washington State with 520 and counting left to play. All that while enjoying a 32-point lead here at Beasley, 77-45. to 45. Martino has got a top of the key. Trying to swipe it away as Sarver can't. Now Luckett will take over. She's got it with nine left to shoot out at the head of the key. Starts to drive on Kyle Woods and another hand check foul called on Kyle. So she'll pick up her third. That'll actually put Jackson State into the bonus. That's the fifth on the Cougars with five minutes to play. And Jackson State to the free throw line. Is it at five or is it under five? I kind of thought maybe we'd have a media timeout here, but I guess they're gonna go under five. Now they are going to call it a media timeout. That's what I thought. All right, so we'll step aside because we're midway through the fourth. Five minutes left to play. Cougars oh. trying to reach eight and two, stay undefeated at home this season. And then get ready for a couple of Texas schools next week. 
It'll be a matchup against Texas A&M Corpus Christi Monday night and then Wednesday morning our time, Wednesday afternoon Houston time to send us into the Christmas holiday. Free throw out of the timeout from Luckett's up and good. Look at one of the Jackson State Tigers in double digits. She's got 11 right now. She and Bowler in double digits, and now they both have 12 apiece as Luckett also converts her second free throw attempt. 77-47 as the Cougars inbound. Now some full court pressure. There's a steal from Bowler in backcourt. Misses on the shot, though, and Tahina comes down at the rebound. Gardner will bring it across the timeline. Gives it to Tahina. Now goes to Charlize Ledger Walker. Now Bella hitting a cutting a Sarah Tahina, but got a little lackadaisical with the layup and missed it. Rebound comes down to Jackson State as they bring it into four court. Bowler's got it low. She will have that one dance on the rim for a couple of hops, and then it kicks out. The rebound down to Washington State. Sarver to Tahina, top of the key. She'll drive in, tries to bounce it to Bella. She's double teamed, though. We'll get a pass outside the Gardner. Now Sarver with it. Gives to Charlize, top of the key. Screen from Bella. Charlize going to drive in. Tries to pass it to Bella. It's deflected off the backboard. Bella comes away with it. Puts up a shot in traffic and can't convert. Luck it down with the rebound. Luck it the other way. Puts up a shot over Sarver and gets it to go. 14 from Kashana Luckett. 77-49 now, 3.45 and counting left to play in the fourth. Bella finds Gardner alone underneath the hoop and she'll put it up and in. Career high nine for Kira Gardner, a point away from her first double digit effort of her Cougar career. And we're down to three and a half minutes left to play here in the fourth quarter. Pass comes out, top of the key, over to the left hand side. Covington deals it to Bowler. Her shot over Charlize Ledger. Walker will go on. They're going to call Charlize for the foul as well. It's going to be a foul on her. Ledger Walker has her first. You know, it'll be a chance at a three-point play here for Jackson State. Bowler will head to the stripe. She now has 14 points. Tied for game high honors for Jackson State. You know, Bella comes off, Nan Curvis back in. Also out of the game will come Charlize Ledger Walker. Here comes the free throw, that one's up and good from Bowler. So again, she's now up to 15 points. 79-52 now. Woods doubled, passes it back to Sorber, almost taken away, but they keep it. Now another dangerous pass, but Woods has it. Into the corner to Tahina, who puts up the three. That one grazes the rim and falls off, but the last touch is Jackson State before it goes out of bounds. Inbounds pass will come in here from Washington State. As Tahina will get set to inbound, will come in to Gardner. She's got it now between the circles. Gives it to Sarver. Sarver to Gardner. Gardner feeds it inside. Jackson... With an arm around the back of an Ann Curvis, going to be whistled for the foul. It's her four. And it will be ball underneath for Washington State with 20 left on the shot clock. Two fouls so far in the quarter. Meanwhile, a substitution coming in as Hickman will come in and Moeller will head over to the sidelines. Oh yeah, one more media timeout. If we don't get a timeout called here, we'll just have it to start the post-game show. As we're down to 252 remaining, Sarver's got it between the circles. Takes it out to the top of the key, now rolls in. Kicks out to Tahina. Little floater from her up and good. Estera Tahina's got a half a dozen. It's 81 to 52. 235 and counting left to play here in the fourth quarter. With the ball, driving in. Jackson has to go off her leg. It's out of bounds, and it's going to be Washington State basketball. Now Sanders checks in. Shelamai Sanders into the ball game. Meanwhile, the Cougars to bring it length of the court with 2.26 left to play. 
Tahina to Woods. Woods dribbles through the trap and takes it into front court with her lightning quick speed. Now to Tahina. Tahina over around the left hand side of the horn and circles it back out to the top, gives to Woods. Fires it inside the Nan Curvis, but she can't hold on to it. Sarver trying to take it away, but gonna be whistled for a foul and we've got free throws at the other end again. 2.06 left to play, and again, a couple more free throws for Jackson State, and only Angel Jackson heading to the free throw line. Monday at 5 Pacific, we'll head your way from Texas A&M Corpus Christi. 4.40 will be our pregame show. And then again, 10.30 Wednesday morning from Houston. All right, Jackson's first free throw this trip. Up and good. Now five of five from the line, has nine points, trying to become the third Tiger to double digits on the Saturday afternoon. She's up, free throw up, that one's good as well. So 10 for Angel Jackson, and it's 81 to 54 as we bounce back and forth between about 27 and 30 for the Cougar lead here in the fourth quarter. Tahina's got it. Going to take it all the way to the rim to lay it up and in. Estera Tahina now with eight points. Another one of the newcomers from Washington State. She did get to double digits earlier this season. Had 14 against Troy. Now it's going to be Sanders delivering it inside to Jackson. Double. Now Tahina departs. So Jackson goes to work on Ann Curvis. Misses. Gets her own rebound. Poked away from her by Gardner. It's out of bounds. And it will be Cougar basketball. 90 seconds left to play here in the ball game. 83-54, Washington State with the lead. And the ball bounced up court, ball knocked away, taken away by Jackson State in the pressure. Sanders fakes the three, now puts it up from 18. It's off the mark, no good. Offensive rebound down to the Tigers. A three from Hunter is off the mark. And the rebound this time down to Tahina. 1-10 left to play in the contest. Sarver at the three-point arc. Gives it up top to Tahina. Now down to 18 left in the shot clock. A minute left to play in the contest. Tahina baseline. That shot up. Rattles off. No good. Rebound to Jackson State. 52 seconds and counting left to play in our ball game. Again, it's 83-54. Washington State with the lead. This is Hunter with it. Right wing. Around the screen, drives in, shop it up. May have been altered, if not blocked, by Nan Curvis. It'll stay out of bounds to Jackson State. 39 seconds left to play in the basketball game. 15 left on the shot clock. Here comes the inbounds pass. It comes to Jackson. Out to the free throw line to Sanders. That one blocked away by Akira Gardner. 10 left on the shot clock, 34.1. Left to play in the ball game. And now the inbounds pass will come in for Jackson State. It'll come in to Sanders. Now they get it inside to Jackson, putting up the shot in traffic. Won't go, gets her own rebound, and foul going back up with it. Tahina going to be nicked for the foul. That'll be her second. Shot clock done for the day as we're down to the final 28 seconds. And now it'll be Jackson to the free throw line to shoot two. I guess technically in this new age of shot clock, they could come down with an offensive rebound and he could put 20 back up on there. So maybe not completely done, but more than likely. Jackson's free throw, that one's up and good. She's been a perfect now seven of seven at the foul line. She's got 11 points. 83-55 now is the next free throw from the USC transfer about to be delivered. That one's up and good as well. 83-56 to 56 with 28 seconds to go. Cougars don't have to shoot if they don't want to. As Kyle Woods will bring it across the timeline. Jackson State going to provide some pressure. Kai going to drive in, gives it to Sarver, back out to Tahina with 15 left. She's got it. Screen from Nan Curvis as we're down to 10 seconds. Cougars were content just to let this one roll on on by and the final few seconds click away. Final score today from Pullman. Washington State 83. Jackson State 56. The Cougars a 27-point win 
They stay undefeated at Beasley this season, and they improve to eight and two on the air.